So when you're done with the scan, Lucas is going to uh, take off the, uh, the data collector. Make sure you hold the scanner stable so it doesn't fall over. And before he turns it off, he's going to download the data. So in the box, in the GeoSlam box, there's going to be a small USB stick somewhere in there. So he's going to find that little USB stick. Pop that in. That's the one. Okay. And for the download, there's going to be a little USB plug that he's going to pull out and he's going to stick the scanner in. And as soon as he sticks the scanner in, it's going to start downloading the newest sets of data uh, onto that USB stick. Any new data sets. It's going to, uh, the light's going to go green. And depending on how long the scan uh, is, is going to determine how long it takes to download onto that USB stick. And when the light goes, uh, turns off, you know that the, the scan has, has been downloaded onto the USB stick and we can start the post-processing. So all the image data is being downloaded as well as the scan data. So we've got that, that lights off now. Now Lucas can pull that, uh, that uh, USB out and copy it onto his computer. Now one thing we should remember, we have to keep our scans to under 20 minutes. 20 minutes is the max. So if you, uh, and that means 20 minute maximum between the times you press the function button. So if you're scanning a very large space and you need, uh, you can't get through the entire space in 20 minutes, stop the scanner uh, at wherever your loop uh, start point is and uh, start the scanner again to begin again. But if you go over 20 minutes, it's going to be a painful process for the scanner. Um,